are you doing at this? Aren't you Luke Costello? We're gonna have milk any minute. <laughs> hey, you, you, you know, you, Luke Costello, aren't you? Yes, sir. Well, how do you do? What are you doing at the station? Well, I'm fine, for you. See, Mr. Rabbit and I, we're going to go on a play with Elizabeth Scott, and i got to go to New York City. New York? Yep. Why don't you go to San Bernardino? I don't have to go to San Bernardino. I'm going to go to New York. New York? Yeah. Why? Because i got to get to New York to do the play. And if, another thing, my mother lives in Patterson, New Jersey, so I go over to see my mother. Well, if you New don't... York. You see, New York is a suburb to Patterson. New York is a suburb. Yeah. And you're going to see your mother. Yeah. Well, if you go to San Bernardino, you can see my mother. What I care about seeing your mother. What's wrong with my mother? I just said there's anything wrong. Give me one reason why you don't want to see my mother. I just what said... did my mother ever do to you? Your mother never did nothing to me. I didn't say anything wrong with your my mother. My mother never did nothing, huh? Your mother never did anything to me. My mother never did anything. Oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. My mother, for 30 years, she cooked three meals a day. She worked 48 hours a week in the plant packing oranges. She was a member of the garden club, president of the Parent Teachers Association. My mother raised 11 children, and you say she never did anything. <laughs> <laughs> what I care about your mother packing oranges? Oh, you I don't, don't care. care about your kids. You your don't care stop? about my mother. You know what's the matter? The trouble with you is your brain is too tense. Too tense? Yes. Two tenths the size of a normal brain. <laughs> You ought to be a I'm a stranger here, My God. mother's 11 children, they should be miserable. I don't care about your mother and 11 kids. Why don't your 11 kids stay home with the mother and be happy? Oh, stay home and be happy. How can 11 kids be happy living in one room? <laughs> Go on, say it. My mother's 11 kids. My sisters and brothers are a bunch of pigs. Now, wait a minute. I never said that your mother with the kids is a bunch of pigs. They live in one room, they're pigs. I don't care about that. I never go around saying anything like the word pig. If I want to use the word pig, I say swine. Now he's driving my wife over there. <laughs> What's my wife ever done to you? What I care about What you? are you trying to do? Are you trying to make my wife and I to be enemies? Are you trying to do something to hurt my family relations? Now, wait a minute. My I... wife has been good to me all through the years. What does she do? She cooks for me. She washes. She sews. Look, my She's the last one to bed, the first one in the morning. Look, my Go friend. On, spit us up. Fix it so I should give up my wife. Look, my friend, I want you to live happy with your wife. You should have a long marriage. Oh, you want me to be stuck with her for the rest of my life? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Cause trouble in my family? I'm not trying to cause no trouble. I'm bringing my wife a prison. What are you trying to do? Stop it? This happens to be the finest thing, the very latest Hollywood style. Why don't you go to San Bernardino? Let me look for rabbits, will you? Oh, why don't you go to San Bernardino? My wife happens to live in Pismo Beach. Well, why are you asking me to go to San Bernardino with you for? Oh, you want to make me go somewhere else because you don't like it? Go to people. Pismo Beach and go to <laughs> I tell you to hit me once more. I'm not hitting you. All right. My wife has got a president here. What's wrong with it? The latest Hollywood style. Oh. I suppose I don't know what the latest Hollywood style is, huh? I didn't even ask you what the latest... I don't care about the latest Hollywood... Now I gotta prove to you that I I haven't been here long enough to find out what the latest style is. We're going right back east. I don't have to prove to you, but I'll show you that I do know. The latest Hollywood style says that every woman's got to dress according to the color of her husband's hair. If he has black hair, she wears a black dress. (laughs) If red hair, a red dress. Gray hair, a gray dress. If he has red hair, when she goes out, she dresses... You're bringing home to your wife? There you are. (laughs) (laughs) Get out of here. If I can only find out.